Those dangerous storms hitting both coasts. Our team is spread out from California to New York, and we're going to start with that. Nor'easter is bringing serious and dangerous snow, wind, and rain. Rob is outside Times Square, and he's going to lead us off this morning. Good morning, Rob. Hey, good morning, Michael. It's nothing short of a miserable day to start your Friday across the East Coast, and it's only going to get worse as this storm continues to strengthen and sticks around for a good day. And it's not the only one. We've got the strongest storm of the year now hitting the West Coast all the way down to Southern California. More on that in a second. But this nor'easter is really going to intensify over the next 12 hours. You see the rain, the snow. Speaking of snow, Syracuse already 10 inches, or forecast for 10 to 12 inches there, already a foot of snow in some spots. And we're already starting to see wind damage from this across New England. Winds gusting over 50 miles an hour in Boston. Winds gusting over 60 miles an hour already just outside of D.C. And you can see we have high wind warnings all the way down to Georgia with this system. And on top of those winds, big waves and coastal flooding. It's all going to be the worst along the coast. And that's where we have Gio Benitos live for us this morning in Situate, Massachusetts. Gio, good morning. Hey, Rob, good morning to you. Listen, we're already feeling wind gusts here of up to 35 miles per hour. And, and just look at this water right now, because this is the real concern. You're going to have high tide later this morning, and then you're going to not have that water recede till late tonight. So there are flooding concerns all across the East Coast. This morning, it seems like these in Pennsylvania. There it is right there. And in New York that have millions on edge. That massive nor'easter sitting off the east coast overnight, packing heavy rain, snow, and damaging winds. Some people needing assistance because of those slippery conditions. The powerful storm already leaving a trail of destruction in its wake. I will be very careful in here. The roof of this produce business in North Carolina smashed through by tree branches. In Tennessee, heavy flooding forcing residents to kayak through their own front yards. And in Ohio, more than 50,000 customers already without power. The storm now taking aim at the Northeast with the potential for major coastal flooding. In Massachusetts, evacuations already underway as officials worry the damage could be even worse than January's devastating nor'easter. It's a heck of a storm and people need to take it seriously. And here in Situate, schools are already closed. And of course, people, these officials, they want people out of here by 10 a.m. today. Now, Robin, what's just incredible is that already from Massachusetts to Virginia, we have more than a quarter of a million customers without power. All right, Gio, be safe out there. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.